Welcome to City of London Basketball Academy. It is week four of the Hoops Fix Pro-Am Summer League brought to you by Jordan Brand. Competition steps up a notch this week as we've got semi-finals of both women's and men's competition as well as the men's 5-8 to eight ranking. It is game three of the day. We've got Wailing Thunder who I believe should have Dirk Williams Jr. That's the rumours I've been hearing. Uh, they are taking on the City of London Academy in the first of the five to eight matchups. Now, as we've seen in the first three weeks, Hoop 6 Pro-Am Summer League is a great opportunity to see some of the best British basketball players based in UK, Europe and in the States coming together, going head to head in the capital. The two lineups. The two sides that we are getting ready to see go at it here. Of course, Wailing Thunder and the City of London Academy. We're just waiting for starting fives. So the in fact we have Kola players on the floor. Their coach, Brian Nguru, Rowan Butler, Idrick Williamson, Shaq Lewis, and Latrell Maitland. <coughs> Waving Thunder, starting with Ishmael Fontaine, who has to go and remove his jewellery. Yeah, you got to get the chain as well. Can I get it? There you go. So Fontaine getting some support, taking off his chain. There we go. It's a beautiful bit of kit as well. Man's got good taste in jewelry. Andre Arasol also starts, as does Veron Eze. And number two, Lavelle Cook. Also number five. Watch out for them. Uh, you may know him. He's. Uh, He's a bit of an up and coming. It's called Zaire Taylor, of course, former BBL MVP. The opening tip goes the way of Worthing Thunder in the first of our men's five to eight matchups. Shmuel Fontaine gets us off to a big start, hits the triple from outside. How do Cola respond? Triple goes up from Williamson. That doesn't come down. Veron Eze. Fontaine. Step backs, finds Cook on the outside. Former London line, former Surrey Scorcher, Lavelle Cook. Strong screen set of Aiton Sangu. And it's in and out of the hands of Veron Eze. By yourself. By yourself. Guru. Picked up by Arasol. Might be able to hear good communication from Ish. Now Fontaine, good kick out pass to Butler. Going inside, rejected by Nsagu. Sorry, Shaq Lewis to take it up and us looking to elevate. Oh, the dunk contest at the rebound. All-star classic earlier in the year. Beautiful play inside, can't go. But the trail Maitland showing off. That explosive first step he has. Getting inside, getting good passes off. But just out of time that time. Lavelle Cook. Andre Arasol. Nets the triple from the break. Thunder up six to nothing. Nguru picked up by Arasol. Triple. Oh, beautiful. And Nguru gets it to go. Use that screen to great effect. Arasol looking to get some points back. Too strong from the top of the key. And that's going to go the way of Kola. Maitland. Still Maitland on the outside. Triples on the way. Can't go. 
Six plays three. Thunder over Kola. We're right at the start of this game. Lavelle Cook steps into the triple. 9-3. Thunder lights it up from outside early. The question is how sustainable is this going to be? Good battle here from Butler. Finds Nguru. Hand off. Troubles on the way. Just off the mark there by Williamson. Not a million miles away either. Fontaine. Hands off inside. A little shake and bake there by Tyan Sangu. And he gets it to go. Off the foot of Arasol. Sangu. Fontaine. Drops off to Lavelle Cook. Good from the mid range. Lavelle Cook. Using defense. Israel Fontaine throws it down. First jam of the day. And that play, in a large part, down to the defense and the communication of Ishmael Fontaine and the Worthing Thunder and Sangu. Cook met by Lewis at the rim. Guru tried to put a pass by Andre Arasol. This is a fascinating battle between Arasol and Nguru. And it's Arasol nets the triple from the outside. 18 plays three. Shaq Lewis with the man jam. 18 plays five. Thunder and a commanding lead early. Zaire Taylor looking to check in next time as his all in Jackman. Sangu inside to Eze. Foul through contact. Three point play the old fashioned way. 21. Plays five. And Naz Abu Ramadan also checking into the contest. Damalari Adadeji sent back off the floor. So live Kivuvu checking into the contest as well, as is Zach Shakiri. Sorry, Shakuri, my apologies. Say so Taylor putting on the pressure immediately behind the back pass. It's the showtime Worthing Thunder now to the corner. That's Ramadan. Zaire Taylor can't get it to go from outside. And we're going to see, I suspect, a bit of a styles clash here. A bit more hard nosed basketball from Kohler. <laughs> Again, against the Showtime Thunder. That's really strong play. Nobody on the outlet pass. From the troll Maitland, he wanted somebody to come around to the top as Max Coop is going to check in. Live Kavuvi sitting down. So the chess game of basketball with Brian and Guru making tweaks. That's a great steal. And he throws it down. Id Idrick Williamson. Help side, help side, Danny. Taylor. So strong inside to Tain Sangu. Hands in there. So the foul called on the shot. So red 10 with the foul. That's Zach Shiguri. First foul of the day for him. Pushing the tempo, not able to get a pass away though that time. Adadeji. 
screen set. Tries to go behind the back. Bounce pass, Zaya Taylor doesn't go. And a Deji. Just that beautiful finger roll layup. Cola chipping away at this Thunder lead. 22 plays nine. Arasol. Picked up by Maitland. Now the double. All in Jackman at the top. Jackman going in. Oh, rejected by Shakuri. Adadeji. Met couldn't get it to go with the up and under. Gets his home rebound though. Shakuri just off the mark. Going inside, that's tough off the glass. Doesn't go, but the one point foul does go the way for All in Jackman. First foul on Idrick Williamson. Tain Sangu sits down, Lavelle Cook checks back into the contest. 23 plays nine in favour of the Worthing Thunder. Maitland drives, drops off. Batting through contact, that's a good finish. That's good basketball from Zach Shiguri. Triple, good. All in Jackman, making it rain for Worthing Thunder. Max Coop. Traveled on the plate. 26 plays, 11. Final 30 seconds of this first period of play. If you've not joined us for any of these other games, the clock just runs for the first three quarters and first eight minutes of the final period of play. Beautiful pass inside. Jackman through contact with the rear range. Couldn't get the finish on the shot. Maitland with 10 seconds. Using the screen to get out of his own... Half court. And a Deji. Oh, thrown down Williamson. And Thunder. They have the lead after the first 10 minutes of play. 26 plays 13. But that could have been so, so much worse for Cola. They really battled back well. At the end of the first period of play. As the players are taking a break, so will we. Thunder up 26 13 over Cola. Hoops Fix Prime, Summer League 22, brought to you by Jordan Brand. Second quarter action, just moments away here from the City London Basketball Academy. I'm in the Hoops 6 Prime Summer League 22, brought to you by Jordan Brand. Remember, follow Hoops Fix across all the social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Just type in Hoops Fix and you'll find what you're looking for. Of course, HoopsFix.com also for all the news about players, British players based in the UK, Europe, over in the States, wherever there is British basketball. British basketball players, Hoops Fix is the place to go. 26 plays, 13. Thunder up over Cola. We've got 10 more minutes, still half time. In the first of our five versus eight matchups, Max Coupe keeps that inbounds, driving through. Foul. Foul on the floor. We'll see who that's called on. Andre Arasol has his first foul within Thunder's first foul of the contest. Coupe. Chips on the way. 
Chums down, nothing but net. Rowan Butler gets the cola bench off their feet. This is more the matchup we were hoping for. Jackman driving in, gets it reverse layup. Lefty finish, beautiful. 28-16, Coop gets to the top. Idrick Williamson loses out the handle. Jackman sends it out to Arasol. The quick hands, the quick feet, kicks to Jackman. Just off the mark. Fontaine. The facilitator on the outside. They've got eight seconds to work. Thunder. Arasol drives in. Left-handed finish. Making it look so casual, Andre Arasol. 30 plays 16, Thunder in the lead. Can't get his shot to go that time, Adadeji. Lefty finish, high off the glass. Arasov finds Cook on the outside, the triple's on the way. Just off the mark. Butler. Kavuvu. Step out of bounds. It's going to go the way of Whirling Thunder. Shaq Lewis looking to check in, as is coach Brandon Guru. And Veron Eze into the contest as well. Veron Eze, that's past two, kick, step back, triple, can't go. Rowan Butler in alone, and he puts it down. 30-18, Guru flying through, nearly picked that pass in the lane. Andre Arasol to the corner, Ishmael Fontaine just off the mark with the three. Eze finds Cook on the outside. Arasol wide open. Too strong, too open. Coop rejected by Cook. Gonna stay the way of Kola. Cook had a toe on the line as Andre Arasol checks out, replaced by Zaire Taylor. Kavivu kicks out Shaq Lewis just off the mark with the triples. I hear Taylor. Fontaine to the corner. Eze. Inside to Jackman. Just off the mark. Good stand by Shaq Lewis. How does he respond offensively? Stripped by Zaire Taylor. Behind the back. No look pass. Eze can't get his finish to go. Three's on the way, Ishmael Fontaine, that's too strong. Thunder, they're getting the looks that they're after. They're just not dropping right now, they still have a 12 point advantage. Shaq Lewis, through contact, puts it back, it's a 10 point contest. Off the triple attempt of Brian and Guru. Fontaine gives it to Ezu. Zaire Taylor, trying to put the moves on the youngster. He puts the moves on the youngster. The spin move fade away good from the mid-range J. 32 plays, 20 now. How does Max Coop respond triple? Use the screen, sinks the triple. This is a shootout already. 32 plays, 23. Fontaine elevates, sinks the triple. Nguru. Wants Kivuvu to post up on Jackman. Going to work, going to work. From the England international and Jackman, Kivuvu 
Strong play. 10 point contest, 35 25. Shake and bake. Can't get his shot to go. Shaq Lewis. Beautiful finish, reverse off the glass for two. And we've got substitutions, both teams. Andre Arosol checking in for Zaire Taylor. As Zach Shakuri checking in to the contest, as does Latrell Maitland. Rafiz Abdul, ready to come in at some point in this period. On in Jackman, a little too strong, back iron. Guru is everywhere today, can't gather that one in though. Lavelle Cook loses out the handle and it's going to go the way of Kola. 10 point contest. 35 plays 25. Tain Sangu checking in for Ishmael Fontaine. Kola have 27, my apologies. Maitland tries to make it 29. Sangu using his range. Maitland using his silky skills to get inside. It should be 35, 29 now. Brilliant fight back from Kola. Arasol going inside, gets him jumping, rejected. Going to stay with Thunder. But Zach Shakuri with a hand in there. Lavelle Cook, triple. Beautiful make from outside. Nothing but string from Lavelle Cook. Rowan Butler just off the mark into the hands of Orlin Jackman. Loses the handle. Pushing the tempo. Butler to Lewis, my goodness! What an alley-oop jam! And that's exactly what Shaq Lewis can do to you at a moment's notice. Arasol gets by his defender. Lavelle Cook on the outside. Kicks to Jackman at the top. Shaq Lewis going inside. Shaq attack. A little gentle one there from Lewis. 38 plays 33. Triple can't go. Tansangu puts 40 on the board for Thunder. So 40-33. Maitland. Tries to kick to the top, that's out of play, into the stands here at the City of London Basketball Academy. One minute left in the first half. 40 plays 33. Thunder in the lead. Chapman versus Lewis. These two have gone at it this season and Sangu fouled in the act of shooting. So that's one point, foul called on red 10. That should be the second foul on Zach Shiguri. Final 30 seconds of what has been an absolute blistering game three, the first half of game three. Just kept it played by Brian and Guru. Drops off inside to Shiguri, can't gather. 10 to shoot it, Arasol. Slowing things down for the Thunder, Andre Arasol. Goes inside on Lewis, stops, rejected. And that's gonna do it. The first half is in the books. What a first half we have experienced. 41, Blaze 33, waving Thunder in the lead. But what a fight back from the City of London Academy after going down about 19 to 3, I think it was in the first quarter. They have battled back in impressive fashion. 41 33 at the end of the first half. Hoop 6 Prime Summer League 22 brought to you by Jordan Brand. 
We'll be back in a couple of minutes time. Welcome back live inside the City London Basketball Academy. Waving Thunder up 41-33 over the City of London Academy. You are hosting us, of course, for this year's Hoop 6 Pro-Am Summer League 2022. Ishmael Fontaine taking out yet more jewellery. Trying to sneak it by the officials. Uh, quick happy birthday to Max Coop. Had a birthday just two days ago. He's rocking one on the City of London Academy. Of course, this is it's our pro -am competition. So we've got pro players. We've got, in the case of Zaya Taylor, retired players. Uh, we've got amateur players who are about to embark on their collegiate careers or their semi-pro or their professional careers. So that's the beauty of the Pro-Am Summer League. We get to see players that we're going to send some of these boys going to go to the States, they're going to go play college ball. They might go Europe and play pro in Europe. They may already be here playing pro in the UK. We've seen national team representations today already. And I'd be fairly confident that we're going to see some future GB internationals as well coming up. So just as a quick example of an international player that we're looking at, well, sorry, a player with uh, European experience is Ishmael Fontaine in seven of course played pro in Germany all in Jackman 
for example, in nine for Waving Thunder, represented England at the Commonwealth Games. So, bags of talent and experience on this basketball floor. And then you've got the likes of Max Cooper and Rowan Butler, two young 18-year-olds who are based here at the City of London Academy, starting their basketball journey at a higher level. After, after the conclusion of this season. So we are back underway. Andre Arasol finds Jackman, finds Fontaine on the outside for Thunder. Beautiful pass inside from Fontaine. So a foul called on red nine. So it's three point play. Live Kavuvu picking up the foul. Uh, if you are just joining us for the first time, the clock will not stop until the final two minutes of the game as Fontaine puts it home through contact. Foul on Max Cope. Fontaine, as the full court press comes on Kohler, the pressure, Andre Arosol picks that pass as well. Skips it to Fontaine, inside now to Hafiz Abdul, back to Ishmael Fontaine. Triple's too strong that time. Hafiz Abdul, battling to find his way inside, can't go. Batted into the hands of Idrick Williamson. Adadeji tries to gently bank it in. Can't go on that layup attempt. Eze. It's Jackman at the top now. Using that screen aerosol. Hafiz Abdul, triple at the break. Just off the mark into the hands of Veron. Eze. Fontaine, looking at pulling up in the mid-range, then drives in, kicks, Eze, a little bit too strong that time, Arasol, and it's Hafiz, pass didn't get through to him clean from Andre Arasol, but it all counts, 49 plays 33, Kohler yet to score in the third period of play, first meaningful offensive possession in the third. Oh, Bowling his way to the basket. Travel is the call. Arasol. We're going to see Maitland check it in next time. Jackman with the spin move, trying to send it inside to Veron Eze. Gets him jumping, Adadeji. Williamson. It's been turned over. It's going to go the way of Thunder. Substitution. Checking in, Latrell Maitland sitting down. Max Coop. Arasol directing traffic as he comes up the floor. Finds Jackman into the corner with Veronese. Ishmael Fontaine can't go from three. A little bit too strong again. Back irons it. Great skip pass to the corner. Too strong on the shot attempt there. Rowan Butler. Brilliant find by Adadeji. Ron Butler nearly got that from Hafiz Abdul. Abdul drives through contact with the finish. Wanted the call. Was absolutely not coming his way. Maitland uses that screen. Step back. Three. Money. Substitution. Lavelle Cook checking in for Ishmael Fontaine. 
51 plays, 33, uh, 36, my apologies. Clock does not stop until the final two minutes of the contest. Remember, Lavelle Cook finds all in Jackman. Back to back. Cola want a timeout next time by. Maitland. Williamson can't finish. Jackman tries to back inside to Hafiz Abdul. And a timeout will be taken by the City of London Academy. They trail 54 36 to the Waving Thunder. We'll be back in just a moment. Hoops X Pro Summer League 2022 brought to you by the Jordan Brand. Worthing Thunder are in the lead and for large portions of this game have been in control. They're up 54-36 over the City of London Academy. Coaching Guru just taking his first time out. He has one remaining, 4.55 left in period number three. As soon as we are back underway, that clock won't stop until, obviously, the end of the uh, period. And then the final two minutes in the final quarter of the game. Control Maitland taking it up the floor. Guarded right the way up hit by Veron Eze. Oh, what a finish! Adadeji. Absolutely wonderful finish with the left hand. He's Abdul. It's in the corner. Fiz Abdul, long three attempt, short possession there by Thunder. Dami Adedeji, good ball movement. Kavuvu kicks it to the corner, Adedeji just off the mark with the lefty three. All in Jackman. Maitland battling hard against Jackman. That's a win for the defender. Chippers on the way. The late contest from Jackman doing just enough. Sent down to Hafiz Abdul. Throws it down. Andre Arasol with the old raise the roof Sally on the sideline. Adedeji stepped out of bounds. Shaq Lewis checking in. As is Brian and Guru. As is Zach Shiguri. No changes for Worthing Thunder that time by. A couple of minutes ago, Naz Abdu Ramadam checked into the contest. Damir Deji. Oh, spin move. Tough. Finds Shaq Lewis, wasn't clean, kick out, long two, can't go, batted around into the hands of the Vel kick. So solid, so dependable the Vel kick. Obvious favourite, fan favourite amongst Lions fans of a certain vintage. We'll wait for the call from the officials, so 
So, blocking foul, one point. Foul called on Jigure. That is his third personal foul. Fifth seven, plays 38. 2.15 left in the third quarter. Nguru. Maitland in the corner. Kept all the way by Eze. Nguru elevating and put back there is good. Zach Shakuri. 57-38 now. Lavelle Cook driving in through contact. Batted by Shaq Lewis into the hands of Orlin Jackman. Strings it from the outside. Give him an inch and he'll hit three. Burning Guru. And Adeji. Oh, Shaq Lewis. He'll take it. Off the rim, high off the glass and down. 120 left in the third. Jackman goes behind his back, initiates contact, help, Fees Abdul. That would have been a jam and a half. As it happens, just misjudged it. A little bit of conversation now between some of the players. Skips it to Brian and Guru. Pulls up. Just short on the triple. Jackman going to take it the other way. No looks to Cook. Eze just off the mark with his triple. 60 pace, 43. Inside 40 seconds left in the third. Shaq Lewis. Turn around jumper can't go. Lavelle Cook going to work on Adadeji. And he gets it to go. Shot clock is off. 16 seconds and Guru takes a peek at the time remaining. And a deji. Guru. Has it stripped, gets it back, puts up the triple from the corner. Off the mark. And that's going to do it. The end of three quarters. The Worthing Thunder have the lead 62 42 over the city of london academy they've got 10 minutes it's a 20 point deficit stranger things have happened that's why we played a game we'll be back in a couple of moments who six pro and summer league 22 brought to you by jordan brand Welcome back inside City London Academy for the final period of play in game three. Worthing Thunder are up against the City of London Academy. Sixty-two forty is the score. in favour of the Waving Thunder. At times, they've been playing ruthlessly efficient basketball. At other times, they have been playing 
Some absolute showtime champagne basketball. And Cola. They've been doing, they've been going about things like you'd expect this team to. Somewhat hard nosed basketball. Doing the fundamental things. Some beautiful finishing. And some gritty basketball. And there are some fabulous players on both of these teams. As we were saying, coming out of half time, a number of players set to have fine careers and futures in the game. Brian and Guru. The player coach couldn't get it to go that time. Zaya Taylor inside gets it to go Ty Sangu. did we see Ty play in the third I'm not sure if we did the trail Maitland oh turned it over cheaply to Eze Lavelle kick easy as you like lap off the glass he's actually being booed by his own bench for not doing so a bit more flamboyant held ball goes the way of Thunder they're up 66-40 Naz Abu Ramadan gets us back underway Sangu, beautiful finish elevates so substitution next time Nearly, nearly picked the pass there. Adedeji kicks to the corner, triples on the way. Halfway down. Somehow rims out. Foul called on. Tansango on black six. So it's going to go the way of Cola. Jack Lewis with the travel. Now we're going to see Coop and Kavubi check it in for Shakuri and Nguru. You see the Valkyrie sit down as well for Worthing Thunder. So here, Taylor. Just off the mark from outside. And speaking of London Lions fans, we be very familiar with the work of Zaire Taylor. Oh, Latrell Maitland! Sinks it from outside. Andre Arasol. Step back, fading away at the elbow. Gets it to go. 70 plays, 43 now. Seven minutes left in the contest. Five minutes of non stop clock. Seven minutes of non stop action, let's be honest. We got a blocking foul from Veron Eze. Went for the charge. Not quite enough. As Stan, aka Hoops by Huncho, delivers the towel to the players just to dry up the floor. And subs from both sides. Hafiz Abdul replacing Fran Eze. Shaq Lewis and Dami Edeji. Sitting down. Coop. Good job, Max. Maitland on the outside. Pulls up from three. Just off the mark right. Had the distance. 
from a little bit back of the arc. Great drive by Coop again. Matt, a very, very solid Worthing defender. Jackman going to work inside. Sangu. And that's exactly what Brian and Guru wanted. Nothing easy inside. Nothing was given. Everything was earned there. And they still couldn't get it to go. <sighs> Maitland. That was a tough miss. Jackman. Back iron. Hafiz Abdul, though. A little two man action. Gets it to go. Cola trying to call time. They're down 72-43. Triples, good. Max Coop. All in Jackman. Uh, generates the contact. So, foul called on number three, Rowan Butler. Point goes to Worthing Thunder. As Cola taking time out. We'll be back in just a moment. Thunder up 73 43 over Cola. Four twenty left in the contest. Thunder up over Cola. This is the first of our placement matches. So today we've got two men's five eight, five eight matchups, which will break down to five six and seven eight matchups next week. So we'll have the full rankings from one to eight in the men's and one to four in the women's. Maitland. Played a really good bit of keep away there. Showed a lot of his skill. And it stays with Cola. Coop. And that's taken a touch from Tain Sangu. That's going to stay with Cola. That's been picked off by Hafiz Abdul. He throws it down. Little hang off the rim as well. Maitland wanted the call, wasn't coming. Fontaine picks up Maitland. Subs coming for Cola. Beautiful fade away. Idrick Williamson got into the paint, got back out of the paint with two points. Fis Abdul goes in, fouled. Scores through contact, three point play. Foul called on live Kavuvi, aka KV. Sorry. Idrick Williamson and Ryan Butler taking time. Jack Lewis gets to the corner. Gurry wanting more aggression from his side. 
Fisa Abdul. Gorgeous right hand finish. Under two minutes to play. That means that the clock will stop and we all have shooting, we all have fouls. So a foul on the floor. Can go that time. Battling inside. Step up, step up. Kivuvu does get it to go that on the second attempt. Shakure. Shaq Lewis takes it over the timeline. 120 left in this ball game. Shaq Lewis takes it inside. Oh, beautiful finish, Shaq Lewis. Just elevates. Soft right hand finish. Fisa Abdul. Three attempt is off the mark. Rattles around. 77 plays. 52. Maitland hand off to Kavuvu. Good move in the middle. Big man with the soft touch. We're under a minute to go. Hafiz Abdul. Mid range chain, nothing but net. Adadeji. Got to get over the timeline. They do. It's in the hands of Shaq Lewis. Maitland inside Kivuvu. Stripped by Orlin Jackman. Hafiz Abdul has hit stripped clean as by Adadeji. Long three, just off the mark there by the Trail Maitland. 13 seconds to play. Just got to go over the timeline. Well, and Jackman. Is he going to put a shot up? He's going to hold it. And shoot after the buzzer. That's going to do it. Worthing Thunder take the victory. 79-54 over the City of London Academy. A very entertaining matchup we have just been witness to. Leading scorers all in Jackman had 16 points for Worthing Thunder. Afis Abdul on 13. Lavelle Cook on 12. Jack Lewis had 14 points for his side. For Cola. The trail Maitland had eight, Rowan Butler had seven on the boards. All in Jackman pulled down six. Adadeji pulled down five. Andre Arasol led the way with three assists in the contest. So was that me? 100 points? You said 100 points? He said 100 points. Ishmael Fontaine claiming. 14 steals. We can give Ishmael Fontaine his line. 11 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists, an index of 15 for the social media mogul himself. That is going to do it here from game 3 of the day here at the Hoops Fix Prepam Summer League 2022. Weaving Thunder take it. They advance to the 5 6 matchup next weekend. They win it 79 54 over the City of London Academy. We'll be back. Come in, it's time. Game four's right around the corner.